Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will quickly show you how to create a test plan in Azure DevOps. Okay, so what you can do, I will just log into my Azure portal where we will navigate to the Azure DevOps and we will see there how to create a test plan quickly. Okay, now what I'll do, I'll just uh, let me navigate to the Azure portal. You can able to see I have already logged into my Azure portal and this is the portal.azure.com. You can able to see it here, right? Now, the moment you log in, you can search for Azure DevOps here, okay? And you can click on the Azure DevOps organization, right? Click on that. And then you will see here my Azure DevOps organization, right? Click on that. And then you will see all the projects here, right? So click on the uh, project you uh, pro, for the one you want to uh, create the test plan for, right? So click on that project. And then in the left side, in the left navigation, you will see here test plans, right? And then just mouse over there and click here test plans, right? And you can just click on all test plans just back button and then you will see a button called new test plan right here you will see all the existing test plan you have just click on the new test plan button i'll just click here now you need to uh, enter a name for your uh, test plan i will say testing and then you have to choose the area path and uh, you need to then uh, provide the iteration, right? That's how you need to choose from the list, right? Then you click on the create button. And the moment you will do that, you can able to see the test plan is ready now, okay? So I'll go back, I will see uh, the test plan that I have created and the uh, status is, I mean, the state is active here, right? You can able to see it here. And th these are the test plan ID, right? This is the ID three, okay, just for the tracking and all, right? You can refer to the test plan ID, okay? So now once it is created, you can just see it here, right? This is the testing one that we have created now. So what you can do, you can just click on this three uh, dot, the more options menu, click on that. And if you want to edit some information, you can just click on the edit option. Okay, the moment you will do that, you will see this, right? So here you can just uh, add some description if you want you can add some discussions whatever you want uh, just click on the save button to save it and uh, what you can do you can add uh, any comment or anything here also right so all these things you can add it you can just save the discussions as a comment here right just keep on adding the comments and click on the save button to save so that it will you know track everything right if you'll see, you can able to see five comments are, we have already added here, right? And here also this timeline, you can change it, whatever you want, right? And if you want to modify anything, you can just change it. And then what you can do, you can just click on the links button to add any link, okay? Add link to existing uh, any item or any test case ID, whatever you want to you know, add to that particular link or any web link you want to add it you can do it here right and then you can also click on this attachment option to add a image or the steps uh, as an image so whatever you want to add it you can uh, do that and then you just click on the save and close button so that the information will get updated to your existing test plan that we have created right now if you want to delete it you can just Click on the more actions menu again and just click on the delete button and then you need to uh, uh, put the test plan id right say i will just click on three because this is the test plan id is three and you can click on the permanently delete option ensure that it is not that critical and you have decided to delete it because you are not going to use it and this, this is the way you can uh, delete that particular so that's it for today. I thought to you know show you how to create a test plan in your Azure Dev DevOps uh, in Azure portal, right? And we have discussed all the steps to do that. 
and how even we can edit that particular test plan and how we are going to delete it all these things we have discussed as part of this video tutorial right so thanks a lot for watching this video if you found this video a little helpful for you kindly subscribe to our channel to see more azure tips and helpful azure powershell commands as well as azure cli commands thanks a lot and have a nice day bye bye